Hi everyone, I'm Matt Dominic from VTO Labs and uh, I'm here to show you this week's tips and tricks. Uh, so what I'm going to show you this week is how to properly remove RF heat shields from a PCB. Sometimes you might be lucky enough to be working on a board where the heat shield actually just pops off because it's not soldered onto the board. On this board, on this side of the board, uh, this heat shield was removed just by using a pair of pliers and prying the heat shield off. And there is damage that was incurred uh, during the process where traces were actually removed from components on the board during that process. And on this side is the method that I'd like to show you this week where I used heat and the Zephyrtronics machine here to actually remove the heat shield. And this is the heat shield we're going to try to remove. So first thing is we want to turn on our preheater and we'll start a timer at three minutes. And then we're going to turn on the top machine again, which is actually the suction and top heat. And we're going to place our plunger right on the center of that heat shield and make sure we just have enough tension where it's trying to pull it up. So after a minute and 30 seconds of preheating the board, we're going to add heat to the top of the board. You can actually see the solder giving way and, and now it's off. That heat shield came off perfectly without any damage to any of the other components on the board.